what energy do we have surrounding you right now? It feels like mystery. The energy surrounding you is mystery. And I, that, I, I take that as a person wondering about you. Yeah, you, you, have, you have someone enthralled and wants to continue to get to know you. I wouldn't be surprised. If the two of you already have a telepathic connection. You see, when, when you looked into this person's eyes, something, something's different about it. It made goosebumps. I see it takes you a lot to get out of your comfort zone or out of your out of your home even. You could be a homebody. What I'm seeing right now is somebody deeply is attracted to your strength of sensitivity. You have this very it, the, it's like you have this very bold presence. It's, it's energy, but your presence in this specific moment, what we're focusing focusing on, is so strong, but calming. And it's very obvious with who you are. You could choose to be cold or mean, but you don't. I see a person that values but is worried. They value you, but there is some worry for going forward. You see, this person has had to fight through a lot of deceit in their life. Their past relationship ended in probably some form of infidelity or just deeply feeling like they had to take on so much by themselves while other person went out and, and had fun or just forgot they were a parent. That's what I'm hearing. So this most likely is a reading for a person that has children or the person connected to you has children. Yeah, plans did not go as expected. There could have been, I mean, there was, there absolutely was a deep uh, commitment to a past partner for verging on marriage for some and you had to steer the other direction. So this person wonders what type of partner are you? I see you're in control of all of your elements. You're a spiritual person, obviously, but like it, it's deeper than you being spiritually curious. You have abilities, and this is something that is bestowed upon you. You don't pick which ones you have. They do develop, but you have to be gifted this, this type of power. What I see is your courage... To be your authentic self will be the exact reason this person does not run away from your connection. Now, with that being said, you have to be self-assured in your balance of what you give to them. You see things clear as day. You could see where this can go. The spirit's reminding you just because you know how fast it could go, slow and steady wins the race. This person is going to receive deep downloads every single time you speak to each other. So there will be moments of distance in the beginning. But little by little, that distance is going to become closer, you see. They have trust issues, but they feel something different about you. They are not just attracted to anybody. They, they stated, I am a one person type of person. 
So there definitely is a worry of not being appreciated, but even more, even though that's enough right there, being lied to. This person, what you got to know about them is be real with them. Don't lie to them. There's always, for every single person in this world, a big thing to remember is making sure your presentation doesn't overspeak your words, right? But don't lie to this person. What I sense is lying is not even in your bones. What Spirit really wants me to expand on is don't feel like you have to keep information from this person. Don't feel like you have to avoid certain topics or parts of yourself that are true and real and important because there has to be an open line of communication for you too. This person's not about games. They really are stumbled right now though on how interesting how would you make time for me what's going on in your private life are you everything you seem are you do you have two different sides and the answer to that is you are not a perfect person you embrace your light your dark you even embrace your Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because that's how you have control of your Mr. Hyde. You are one of those souls that is the realest form of authentic love. Of somebody that would rather rip off the band-aid but then help apply ointment to the, to the wound or etc. Then keep it suffocated. You are a person that understands words. Words are gold. And your word is priceless. And it is the one thing in this world nobody has ever taken from you. They feel like there's leaps, there's jumps, there's things that they can do with you, that they can overcome. Wow, did you see the way that one flipped? You've probably been feeling called lately to tidy up your space. Whenever you are going deeper than just your normal daily cleaning, when you're like rearranging things, taking extra care of your yard, do it, like going and, and, and cleaning all the finite details and spots and there's something of like expansion within you. That is, that is more than just inspiration to clean your home. It's absolutely that, but it's more. There's a sense of inviting. It's an inviting energy. It's, I, I feel and see I'm making space for something else. That's another thing, you're, you're, you, when somebody means something to you, you see, you're, again, your word is gold. When you say you're going to be somewhere, you're going to be somewhere. When you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. You follow your internal compass. That's why you never bring yourself into something that you're like, I can't invest my energy into or... You don't start down a road that you're not willing to already see the full picture and be prepared for the journey for. You're a human and there's ups and downs and bumps in the road, but you ride through them. It's like when you're on a journey, when you're on a road trip and there's traffic or there's certain roads that are closed. Well, you, you know that now and you navigate through and you get back on track. That is the person you are. What I see right now is this person's going to take some time studying you, okay? But you're closer to the finish line than you think with this connection. You simply have to believe, be yourself, 
honor both sides of your soul, not try to be something you're not. Seriously, be yourself. So many people, when they find a person that they feel this attraction to, but even more than this, instantly, it's like you think that there's parts of yourself you have to alter, etc. No, just be yourself. It, 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 this is organic. This flows. This person absolutely looks at you through social media. Um, music is very expansive and important to both of you. So pay attention to the music that's playing around you. And I want to state that even if, so if both of you are people that post music on your your social media, like your stories, etc. They're saying don't, don't feel like you have to look too deep into it. Sometimes they're posting songs two ways. Sometimes they're posting songs their human self physically knows they're posting this song about you or it's a subconscious thing. At first, it's going to be subconscious. They're posting songs that they're listening to throughout their day and it's a way that their higher self is connecting to you. Letting you know what, what simply is going on in their mind. And little by little through time, eventually there's going to be this shift where their human self is like, no, I want to post this song for them to see. Or even a form of your love language. But that's what I have for you today. And now, you know what? It's time to talk about the Spiritual Colorado Retreat. This year, August 11th through 16th, I am hosting a spiritual adventure in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. This is six days of packed spiritual and physical development. We're going to visit three national parks and experience so much more. On the spiritual side, I have workshops in place every single day, a different lesson every day, inner child healing, manifestation, spiritual, the inner slash outer alchemy, so much more teaching tarot, etc. And one of the coolest things I'm really excited about is my cards are currently in production, my tarot slash oracle decks. Every single person that comes on the trip is getting a spiritual gift from me. It's going to have so many tools, but one of those tools are the first prints of my tarot and oracle decks. You will be the first to ever see them, touch them, bring them home. It's going to be a while until they're available for sale. This is just one of the special little gifts I'm so excited to present. This trip is meant for soul family. This trip is life-changing. And if you're feeling called to join, I highly suggest you go check out the trip now. Get all the details. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to give me a message or an email at contact at offprintment.com. The only way I communicate is through my email. You can easily access that email also by going to my website. The website is attached to my bio. You go there and you directly can send me a message. Right now, at the time of me filming this, I have two early bird spots available. That's $200 off your trip. You go ahead and get on that now before they're taken. Nonetheless, thank you for being here. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.